Namaste angels. It's the weekly love reading. I'm going to do two spreads. I, yeah, I think just two. Um, one from the perspective of the masculine, divine masculine specifically, and one a little bit more general for everybody. Um, both spreads will be for singles, couples, people in separation, people who you just feel connected to someone, although you haven't met them yet. So, you know, people who've seen uh, their mate in dreams, although they haven't met, met them yet, all of these sorts of things. I have a friend that dreams about every single boyfriend she has before she actually meets the guy and goes out with him. She's a cancer, uh, very connected in that way. In any case, um, we're beginning with 29 massage and try again. Uh, for those who saw the general reading, actually, whether you saw the general reading or not, after I finished the general reading, I walked away saying, oh, you know what? Somebody watching or somebody close to somebody who was watching or who will watch is pregnant or their girlfriend or wife or whatever is pregnant uh, and with twins. Now, I got that message, like I said, walking away from the general reading. I had a crowning card of um, Major Arcana card, the Empress, which can definitely be about pregnancy. And it was crossing two chariots, one atop the other. Like I had laid the first spread and then I clarified every single card that I had on the table. Actually, the, the um, Empress was one of the clarifiers. And surrounding the masculine had been the chariot. And when I went back around, having shuffled the cards in many, 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 many times and cut them in about 25 different piles live and put them back, clarified the chariot um, surrounding the masculine with yet another chariot. And so after I was, after I finished the reading and I was like gathering everything up, I saw two, not chariots, but like carriages, strollers. And I said, oh, somebody's pregnant and with twins. And then I remembered the Empress. So you have, there you have that. Um, may definitely be connected to 29 spiritual partnership, although this 29 spiritual partnership just is showing up again. Like I did, it did come out in the love reading, but I just dropped these dice, you know, to see, you know, to get like an opening um, message, a start. And 29 came up again and try again came up again too. I started with try again in the general reading. So it's 29, massage and try again. Spirit still says 29. So spiritual partnership. And now we know from a romantic perspective specifically. Also, stay in bed. Maybe somebody who's already pregnant whether with twins or not, needs to be on some sort of bed rest. That, and that's um, not the only meaning, <laughs> potential meaning for that. That's just what came to me just now. And lastly, email. This could be a means of contacting somebody. I went over like the Christian calendar. Uh, there was nothing going on in the Hebrew calendar, but on the Christian calendar, we had a couple of feast days all about forgiveness, atonement. Same thing with the Islamic calendar. Ramadan starts this week, forgiveness, atonement. And so that was definitely an overlying theme and it showed up in the cards. All right. So this time around, we're beginning or we're starting at least with the four of fire, the four of wands It's all about um, marriage. I actually had some clients that originally were supposed to get married tomorrow. I don't know if they still are. I know in New York, they started virtual marriages, um, you know, get, they're approving the licenses and, and things like that online. And then you can get married. Maybe they're doing that nationwide or something. I'm not really sure, but I just was reminded just this very moment that I had clients that originally were supposed to get married for 2020. Uh, in any case in Jamaica, I was invited. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're all, we're all home instead. Um, this death card can definitely be about marriage and other commitments, uh, deepening of commitments. It's about happiness, joy, your house, your household. So if you're single, it can be about you just cleaning up your house, uh, maybe rearranging your furniture, changing things around, remodeling, renovating, maybe because you got time on your hands, uh, whatever makes you happy in terms of joy, whatever helps you to feel at peace and or something going on with your family that's positive, your household that's positive, your you know commitments and contracts that is positive for you is what the four of fire is about. So um, 
behind that okay also upright we have the ten of earth which is really nice the ten of pentacles uh definitely about family security household as well assets just feeling safe and and you know happy for the most part happy to be alive you know maybe coming into a lump sum of money not necessarily a large lump sum but a lump sum maybe like a scratch off lottery ticket a hundred dollars i got a donation from one of my clients this week a hundred dollars you know so the Definitely not, um, I see nothing to sneeze at from that perspective. So it could be something like that. Maybe it is somebody's stimulus or tax return or, or something, um, or have, it could possibly have nothing to do with money. It's just, just about feeling happy and safe and surrounded by family and love. A very happy family life, financial security, and finding magic in the little things in life. The little things may be little people, right? This could be about pregnancy. This could be about, you know, delivery um, right now expanding your family, maybe expanding your family through marriage. So that's the last upright card. So I'm going to stop there and we'll give these another, um, you know, shuffle, so to speak, in front of you guys. There are too many of them um, to really shuffle because it's two decks. So it's probably about 100 cards here. It's too thick to like really shuffle, shuffle in front of you. But I can do this, right? I can cut the card instead. All different piles, mix them up, put some on top, some on the bottom, some in the middle. Doesn't matter, right? Whatever's supposed to come up, whatever's meant to come up will come up, but they want us to see so far. Interesting. The Eight of Summer, Eight of Cups. You feel that there's more to life than what you're living, so it's time to move on. You may be moving from a situation that isn't good for you, or perhaps you're being drawn to what would make you happy. Either way, you're in control. Some of us could be doing cohabitation. So this could be connected to the four of wands, right? You could be literally moving, moving in with your boyfriend, moving in with your girlfriend, moving, getting married and moving in with your new spouse. Uh, um, you know, again, in, uh, increasing your household. So moving forward having manifested positive things into your life, those things that you had focused intentions on, those things that you wanted to happen, maybe involving a Gemini um, or the planet Mercury. Major Arcana card one, the magician, does represent the planet Mercury and the sign of Gemini, which it rules. There is magic in the air. You can manifest anything you need to be successful. Also, some endings coming. And I mentioned on a different, completely separate note, um, in the general reading that for us Geminis, because I am myself a Gemini son as well as a Gemini, a few other things. Um, I mentioned that for us Geminis, the Taurus new moon that we'll experience this week is in our 12th house of endings. So although new moons are about new beginnings, we will have some endings. Some things will come to come to a complete stop and will never exist in the same way as they had before moving forward. But something very new and wonderful also growing out of that Taurus new moon energy. Um, so this sort of represents that, right? This is um, new beginnings that we've manifested and these are endings. Major Arcana card 13 release or death, which represents the sign of Scorpio. Just means like, let that go. Let that come to an end and we're moving on. It's time to release the past and to move on to something new. This ending is the first step on the way to a happier future. And it can be connected to something like, I'm ending my life in this household and I'm moving to another household and starting a new beginning. You know, it could be something like that. Uh, and again, it is blessed. It is destined. We have another eight. Eights are all about karma. But the eight of spring or wands is one that tends to mean that the universe is working on our behalf but from the high, behind the scenes, making things happening, move and shake, moving and shaking in our favor. Um, so there's growth, there's expansion which is uh, connected to the planet Jupiter, right? This fire, Jupiter is the planet of growth and expansion as well as karma and luck. You've been presented with many wonderful opportunities all at once. While this may feel very stressful, remember to be grateful for the blessings that heaven sends you. And um, yeah, this could also definitely be connected to like multiple pre pregnancies too. You've been presented with many wonderful opportunities all at once. That's like m many or more than one. That's like the multiples. At the same time, they're going to come. And so that could be stressful, but it's a blessing that heaven's sending you. Um, just so you know. 
So, um, what a way to start. I'm just putting these back in here, as you can see, arbitrarily, just wherever. No rhyme or reason to any of it. We're just giving them a real shuffle. And now that we come to the three of air, three of swords, great sadness, take time to heal. There's a need to forgive yourself and others. Well, didn't I say that this week is about forgiveness and atonement on both the Christian calendar and the Islamic calendar? So I think that's when we're starting. We're starting from the hurt. We're leaving that in the past. We're moving forward. So we'll do the spread from the divine masculine's perspective. First, beginning with the divine feminine's higher self. And she's worried. Nine of winter, nine of swords. Your worries and fears aren't real, however. They are fueled by focusing on the negative, which gives power to that of which you're afraid. Stop worrying, let go of fear, and everything will be okay. We could be afraid of a number of things, afraid of the separation. You know, like even if we weren't, you know, broken up or separated or divorced from a person, from a relationship, we could have physical separation right now and be worried about what that's going to do to the emotional aspects of our relationship. That's just one thing. Um, you know, one example, that could be something which you're worried, what, whatever you're worried about the, um, the card so far saying it is unnecessary. So the masculine, as it relates to the feminine and, you know, tends for me to be tied into this card as well. And today, this doesn't seem like it's any different. It's even the same element, right? The two of winter are swords. So masculine's got some sort of decision to make. Maybe that's what the feminine is afraid of. What's his decision going to be? Procrastination and worrying about what others will think is blocking you from making a decision. Look, there's two dogs. There's more twins showing up in this picture. Um, blocking you from making a decision. If you're torn between your desires and someone else's, follow your inner guidance. The masculine relates to himself, right? His own higher self to his 3D self and how he's feeling about himself. What is it? Very nice. Major Arcana card 17, the star. Could be from where this um, air or swords or winter energy is coming. From the star, the star represents the sign of Aquarius. The masculine, uh, as a collective, their ruler, Mars, right? The masculine planet of love is currently located in Aquarius. So that could be what this is about. You're about to take a big leap forward with your life. Maybe because he's getting married, deepening his commitment, his woman's pregnant, whatever, right? Big leap forward. Worry, this worry right here, will be replaced with optimism. Fear, the fear from right here, will be replaced with hope. And joy is coming home to roost. So that could be your bundle of joy coming home from the hospital. Maybe somebody has given birth already. They're in the hospital, but you're worried because of what's going on um, in, the, in the nation or, or the world, really, rather. Um, and I have viewers from every continent except viewers and um, personal clients from every continent on the planet with the exception of Antarctica. So definitely it's the world when I'm talking about my clients. Um, the worry, the fear could, could be because somebody's in the hospital right now or you're pregnant and you're going to have to go to the hospital. Well, I don't want to go to the hospital now with what's going on. So there could be worry and fear, but it's saying joy is coming home. Like the bundle of joy is going to make it home. For those of you for whom this is not about pregnancy, it's still about positivity. It's about happiness. Uh, and it is about, you know, very straightforward, very literal what it said. We're replacing worry with, 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 with joy. Also, Major Arcana card 17, the star, which represents the sign of Aquarius, is about communication. And communication usually involving technology. So like the die that said email. This could be encouraging you to reach out to somebody via email, maybe to reach out to the feminine via email or text or something online um, in writing. That's just one. So what else do we get from this? This is also about the manifestation, right? We started out with the magician falling out of the, falling out of my hand. Um, 
the magician is in my manifestation and so is the star. The star means that your dreams are coming true. Your wishes are being granted. Your prayers are being answered. So essentially that thing that you had been focused on to manifest coming to you now. And the general definitely showed a lot of abundance on both sides. Like I said, even the masculine had two chariots. You know, the chariot is the ultimate card in the tarot of success, right? Um, two chariots, one atop the other, one clarifying the other. So you can't get much more successful than that. The masculine's higher self um, and, and lower self right now, as it relates his feelings, his thoughts on the union or connection as a whole this week. Okay, this is nice. The Knight of Earth, loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind could be tied to that Taurus new moon, right? He could be looking for certain aspects to end and certain beautiful new things to come in. It's time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. You have a guardian angel. So commitments. We started out talking about commitments, right? With the Four of Wands. It's saying to follow through on that to move forward with that thing you were thinking about. You, you're tossing it around because you're not sure about how other people are going to feel about it. It doesn't matter how other people are going to feel about it. How you feel about it, what's in your heart to do, what's in your mind to do is what you should be planning and what you should be moving forward on. Overall, the princess of winter, loyal, truthful, curious, undiplomatic, possibly a direct air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or someone likened to those traits or attributes. This is an intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of a matching solution. If helpful information is put to you bluntly, accept the message without being bothered by the messenger. Somebody may have something to say to you this week. The king of swords showed up in the general, all about saying what you mean, meaning what you say. And so the page is about information, right? News or information coming in and it can be said in a very blunt way, right? You know, like the king, just laying it out there. So this guides us to be open to the message and listening to it, even though it comes that way. Some of us, again, could be getting news um, about a bundle of joy and twins. So either the doctor is saying twins and that's the news you're getting, or you're getting news maybe that you're pregnant. Um, you know, maybe you're peeing at a, on a stick at home or, you know, news could even be the actual um, labor. Could even be the actual labor for somebody. You know, it could be your body that's giving you the uh, information. And so you just guide it to, again, not panic. Um, maybe somebody may be having a Taurus, this, maybe Taurus twins uh, this week. Um, what the masculine, what kind of energy the masculine, if it was up to him, would have the feminine give to the union or connection this week? The queen of spring. Talented, brilliant, independent, and charming. Don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. So we, right? We had the manifest. We had the magician. Then we moved on to the star. It's coming, coming true. What we want. Don't panic, right? Don't be afraid for these things to come true. Let's keep drawing them near us. You may have several priorities vying for your attention at once or several kids <laughs> for somebody, um, several babies, right? Vying for your attention at once, but you can do it. Now the queen of spring or wands, she is a Leo, Sagittarius or Aries or someone like into those traits or attributes. You know how, who else she is? She is the quintessential divine feminine of the tarot. The, the queen of wands represents the divine feminine as it relates to the tarot. So what the masculine wants from her this week could very well be just for her to be like in her full feminine power and position as the divine feminine and to not like lose it and crack under pressure. Also, um, the queen of wands in a general sense as it relates to love can be about you meeting somebody. If you're looking for somebody, for example, meeting somebody through a friend or, um, 
an acquaintance, and that could be connected to you don't know how other people are going to feel. Maybe it's a blind date, or you don't know how people are going to feel about friends dating. Like, oh, you know, I just found out you're dating my friend, or you're dating my brother or my sister. You know, sometimes that can go left. So it could be something like that, and that could be what pe- somebody's afraid of because you meet somebody connected to someone else. Either they directly introduce you, or it's through them somehow. Um, <laughs> the queen of wands can really be about not wanting to be by yourself right now, if that makes any sense. And I could definitely see people feeling like that in a very literal um, way right now, like not wanting to be by themselves, being tired of being in the house and wanting to get out there and mingle. So maybe something online, online dating or again, connecting to people online, FaceTime and uh, Zoom and Skype and um WebEx and, and all the many different things, WhatsApp and all that kind of stuff could be how um, you meet somebody and you're successful. In terms of relationships that are already existing, yeah, the Queen of Wands is just a super positive omen as it relates to love. You know, it means all good things, deepening of commitments and all of that. So um, what energy would the masculine himself what will he himself be giving to the union or connection this week? And it is... Ooh, more Gemini. <laughs> Major Arcana card six, the lovers. How perfect is that? Um, again, represents this sign of Gemini. True and long lasting love finds its way into your life. Follow your heart instead of like, if you have to make a decision, not following what other people think, not being a people pleaser, follow your heart with caring actions and choices. Where the lovers does not... Um, refer to or translate to somebody um, meeting somebody new to have a relationship with or deepening a commitment that they already have, then it does tend to be about a decision that one has to make, like a heart versus head decision. Something like this, like the two of swords. It's like, I want to do this, but you know, my mom, my dad, my friends, my boss, you know, my subordinate, whoever. Some would would say, oh, you should be doing this. Or they may think, you know, poorly of my decision. Or uh, I want to change jobs. I want to go into a whole different field. Everybody's going to say you're nuts. You know, you've been making so much money doing X, Y, Z. Now you want to, you know, volunteer at the hospital? Like, what what are you talking about? You know, it could be something like that. And it's your heart versus your head uh, and everybody else. And so you're guided to choose the decision that's in your heart, whatever the scenario is. I just was throwing out some examples. Um, And an outcome card. Oh, boy. (laughs) It is Major Arcana card 19, the sun. So it's a happy outcome. Your plans will work out well. What plans? These plans that we make over here with the Knight of Earth, the Knight of Pentacles. Who, who better to make the plans, by the way, but then an earth sign, right? That's what they do. They, they make the plans and they stick to them. They're very dedicated. They're very committed. Um, they are very like pragmatic and practical and they see things through. So those plans are going to work out well, um, bringing you happiness, prosperity, and success. You will garner the recognition for your accomplishments that you so richly deserve. And somebody could be having a male child. Right? A sun also. Uh, Major Arcana card 19, the sun, represents the sign of Sagittarius. Could very well be a Sagittarius somehow involved in the scenario, whether it's the sun, moon rising with the queen of wands here. Uh, Definitely there's a lot of air energy here. Could be Gemini, could be um, Aquarius, could even be Libra. What, um, so I did the outcome. What is going to come out this week that could benefit hopefully the masculine or it's going to affect him, change, give him something to do. And it is the six of summer. Very interesting. Six of summer, can be six of cups can be about children. Um, the love and care of children could become an important part of your life. You know why? Because you could become a daddy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or people from your childhood may return to it. That could happen too. Somebody, maybe it's somebody from your past. It's not from your childhood, from your past. A past love, a soulmate relationship, true and long-lasting love. 
could be returning to you, could be coming from your past. Um, this, this is definitely a soulmate card in the tarot as well, the six of cups. And a lot of times it can be about exes coming back and just in, in general too. So that for the masculine, and it goes quite well with your other six, right? Major arcana card, six, the lovers for the, let me put it, let me put the masculine's card underneath the masculine's card. So I don't confuse anybody. And for the feminine, um, what could be coming out for us? Hmm. The two of autumn. So we got another set of twins here, right? So we got another two for one thing. So that's for, that message is coming through very, very strong for somebody. Um, but the two of autumn is also about the need to make a decision or awaiting a decision, perhaps just like the two of swords. Both of, both of these cards in terms of love can be about getting swept off your feet. So it could, could be connected to the masculine's true and long lasting love also. Um, they're both about balance because they're twos too. Balance, partnerships, strengthening of partnerships. You may be under stress because of multiple jobs um, or too many responsibilities for one person to manage. It's important to balance your work and your personal life and to bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. Uh, so that, yeah. It can be all those things, but it can definitely be connected to the twins that I saw. And you know what's really funny? I live near a hospital and in New York, um, actually one of, my, one of my friends, my friend Esther, was one of the people who helped to start this thing that every day at seven o'clock, we have applause for the healthcare workers and it just keeps growing larger and larger. People come down to my neighborhood just to be near the hospital and, you know, distancing of course, but just to be near the hospital at seven when it happens and to participate. And if there's any like fire trucks or police cars riding by, they, you know, blow off their sirens. And every now and then, like you'll see on the news, they'll say, Oh, we're singing New York, New York tonight, you know, along with it, or we're doing this, we're doing that. I didn't hear any announcement today, but at seven o'clock, um, Rob Bass and DJ Easy Rocks, It Takes Two, started blasting along with the claps and the sirens and everything else. So I don't know who was who was playing that, but it sounded like they had a real DJ um, outside, although I didn't see when I peeked out. But they, that was another two. It Takes Two. So message coming through very, very strong for me. Maybe it's twin boys. Um, I actually had a conversation about twins today. Not today. Uh, this week also, though because I was playing one of those stupid Facebook games. And every time I play one, it, it comes out that I'm having these, these babies, these multiple babies. I say it might not be me, it might be one of my kids, maybe my son, because he has a, you know, like a real relationship like that where he could, um, not that it takes a real relationship in order to have a baby, but anyway. Um, so I had played once, I have two pages, right? One under Mariama, my government name, and one under Queen of Swords. So I had played under Mariama and these triplets came out and I, took it, I played the game off of my friend's page. So she had played and it's like, what's in your stomach? And her answer was tacos. I do it and triplets come out. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So I do it again and it's twins. So I said, okay, I'm gonna go to the, my queen of swords page and do it. And then I'll get tacos too or something. My dad even did it. He got pizza. I go to queen of swords, twins. So um, somebody says to me like, Maybe you're going to have like two sets of twins. I said, you know what my, my grandmother did? My father is one of, he's a, he's a twin and he is one of, one of two sets of twins. So him, he is a twin sister. And then he has brothers that are also twins that are from um, both my mother and um, my grandmother and grandfather together. So. Uh, definitely runs in my family and could definitely happen or could have happened to me or my sisters did not. And maybe will happen to one of our children was all what, what all that was about. All right. So let's get to the next spread. And just picked up the cards and we don't want them to be all next to each other. So I'm going to do this. You are seeing me do this, sticking these in arbitrarily just wherever. could be finding out too. Maybe that's why I was made to just tell that weird story. Cause I just heard a parent could be finding out too, 
that their child is pregnant or their son's you know, girlfriend or wife is pregnant. And maybe you are the person they're hesitant to tell because they don't know how you're going to react. So that may be the news that comes out for you this week. Um, somehow I, may, I got I ended up back on the 10 of Summer of Cups. Um, which is the card we started with before, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and do this again. So um, that's an area I was just doing. I'd say more likely your son more so than your daughter um, needing to tell you that their significant other is pregnant. But yeah, we end, we, have, we end up with a beginning card, an overall energy of Major Arcana card 19, the sun. Your plans will work out well, bringing you happiness, prosperity, and success. You'll garner the recognition for your accomplishments that you so richly deserve. You saw me mix up all the cards, saw me stick them in random places. Still, despite that, we ended up with the Ten of Cups, which is the card we had originally started with before I shuffled the first time. And now we've ended up with the Major Arcana card 19, the Sun, yet again as well. So this is going to be the um, more general spread, singles, Again, the both spreads are for any and everybody as it relates to love and relationship, um, but particularly people who consider themselves divine beings, uh, twin flames, you know, spiritually ascended people. Um, divine being or couple is the first placement, the first card. Six of water or cups. It's another six of cups. This is from the other deck. Memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children, and romanticizing the past. Something could be going on with somebody's siblings too that could help to further you. Like you could just be feeling good about family and stuff. Or maybe it's one of your siblings who's pregnant or something like that. You're going to become an auntie or an uncle. Um, somebody could definitely be returning to your life from your past. Even if you don't get to see them in person. If it's um, online or something. All those possible meanings of the Six of Cups. And it could be very surprising to you. Maybe you're not expecting to hear from this person. I just heard that somebody could return to you, maybe not in a physical sense, maybe in a dream. Um, and maybe that's why I was meant to tell you that about my friend that sees all her boyfriends. She's a water sign, uh, the cancer, sees all her boyfriends in dreams before she meets them. That may happen to somebody um, with the tower being the next card. Uh, recent, it's in the placement of recent past. But it could come like early in the week. And so that'll make it the reason past once it happens to you. You might not have experienced it yet. In any case, um, Major Arcana Card 16, Life Experience or the Tower. A significant life event. A powerful revelation that leads to change. It's time to spread your wings. So this significant life event could be, again, pregnancy, could be giving birth, could be somebody returning to your life and it's going to really, really mean something. Soulmate coming back into your life and you guys reconnecting. That's a powerful life event. Um, or it can be a powerful revelation. You have some sort of aha moment, maybe about something or someone from your past and you have an opportunity to do something about it going forward towards your future. Again, this is a week of atonement, forgiveness, Apologies. So maybe it has something to do with that. Um, near future. Very nice. A, an op a new opportunity to start all over again. Passionate, fiery. The ace of fire or wands. Ace of wands. An exciting new opportunity comes your way. Could be career advancement. Change your life now. Could definitely be a re uh, relationship connected as well. And um, or even sex. I, you know, <laughs> don't know how some people would have sex if they're, if they're single or if they're living apart from someone. Maybe somehow you get together with somebody that you feel safe about, that you're confident that they don't have a virus and um, 
yeah, you get the wand, you know, more power to you. I, I, if I could get the wand, I would get the wand as well. Um, <laughs> masculine's higher self. It's another page of swords, right? This two from the other deck. Logical, honest, impulsive, and curious. Isn't this in the same position? It was like crowning before, right? I think so. Um, challenging information. Delays or changes to plans and truth delivered without tax. So somebody could just be getting some news just blurted out like here it is. Deal with it. Blocks to individual or shared progress. So whether you're single or couple. The king of earth. Maybe you're worried about money. Uh, material possessions. How can I move forward? I'm not rich enough. I don't have enough assets. Um, and or it could be an actual earth sign that needs to, you know, feel or feels they need to get themselves together. They've just been stuck in a rut. And so... That's been the block. If there is an earth sign in your mix <laughs> is part of the situation, maybe you're the earth sign, you could think to yourself, hmm, yeah, it's been, I've been procrastinating. All right, so now it's time for you to get moving. The king of earth, in any case, is generous, professional, responsible, and practical. A successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered, like this one, an opportunity is coming in the future. You have the Midas touch. The king of earth is potentially a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or someone likened to those traits or attributes. What the feminine can do to help herself, right? Despite this block, it's there, it's been there. What can I do to help myself to get rid of it? It is... Major Arcana card 21, the world, Archangel Michael. A job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, and the path toward enlightenment. The world is about something coming full circle or coming to an end. It could be, again, connected to um, what is for Gemini's, our 12th house of endings, and the Taurus um, new moon that comes this week. The, Taur the, moon, uh, the, the sun rather actually entered Taurus today, the 19th. Uh, the moon will be there at the toward the end of the week, 24th, I believe it is. That's Friday. Um, so the world is about, yeah, th things coming full circle, coming to an end, and you being eased out of one situation um, and eased into one that it's much better for you. So this, like, don't fight it, right? Allow for the ending to come um, and just go with it. What the masculine can do to help himself is the seven of earth or pentacle. Seeds well planted. A temporary pause in action. Unnecessary, any, any worry is unnecessary. So what the masculine can do for himself is to just like accept that he's done all he needs to do um, for this situation. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. As I was saying that, I thought about the seeds being well planted. The, the, and my mind went to pregnancy one time. Once again. Um, he's done all he need to do. All right. Um, for somebody who, who, whomever that is, it could be a few of you. Um, but in any case, if we're, where it's not connected to pregnancy, he's still done all he's needed to do. You know, he's like put things in order uh, that allow for the next step, right? The chain of events. He set off some sort of chain of events by doing, taking a step. Um, what the universe would have each or both do and even wants to help them, us, with. But we have to first affirm because we have free will. I forgot to do this for the, for the last spread, by the way. Um, we have to uh, first affirm because we have free will is the six of air. Another six. Things are looking up. It's the end of a difficult situation. So the universe just wants us to accept that the difficulties are coming to end. The, the worst is behind us and the smooth sailing ahead, right? We're moving into a, a time um, of positivity in our lives, you know. It, and it might not be like the next day we wake up and everything's perfect. And matter of fact, it probably won't be like that. But this should make you feel... Um, confident that you're moving forward so that you don't leave like your mind stuck in the past on the negativity 
because then you'll just, you'll hold the rest of yourself there if you do that. And the outcome here, and it is balance. It's balance. How perfect is that? Major Arcana card 14, balance or temperance in the traditional tarot. Something else that represents the planet um, Jupiter and the sign of Sagittarius. So this could be gifts from Jupiter. This is, you know, payment for our karma. This is our luck paying off. By merging varying points of view, you can now generate an extraordinary new idea. Compromise with others and collaborate to discover a better solution. No. I actually have a Sagittarius child and I got pregnant with her February 25th, 1995. <laughs> I had her exactly nine months after I got married. And that's the day I got married, February 25th, 1995. Um, I had her on the 28th of, of, of November, like nine months and three days later. Um, so that could be one of the messages that we're getting too. You know, it could be like learning now that you're pregnant. Maybe you got pregnant last month. Um, and you are going to have a Sag child, you know, so you're learning this month that you got pregnant last month and you're going to have a child in November or December, a Sagittarius, because we have the overall energy of the sun, which represents the planet Jupiter and the sign of Sagittarius. And we ended on Major Arcana card Temperance, which is about us merging together, <laughs> merging varying points of view. Black coming together with white, short coming together with tall, right? Fat coming together with skinny, um, Jew coming together with Christian or whatever it is. We're, we're putting our differences aside and figuring out a way to, to come together and work. Negotiation, compromise, collaboration. So where it doesn't have to do with pregnancy, where it has to do with some other situation, you could have had a three of swords situation, right? In the past, we had some sort of difficulty, we had some sort of separation, we had some sort of conflict, whatever the case was, maybe all of the above. And now we can figure out how to come together. Maybe now you're returning to my life or now I'm returning to yours and we can, you know, we're older, we're wiser and we're realizing now that life is short and, and fragile and, you know, we're willing to, to do what we have to do to make it right. And that could be temperance. Let's pull one more since I forgot to pull in the last spread um, what the universe would have each or both of us to do or give what energy to give toward the union right now, but we have to, and even wants to help us with, right? The universe wants to help us to do this, but we have to first affirm because we have free will and it is, huh, that's interesting too. Major Arcana card nine, the hermit. That could be what, what the Knight of Earth was about from the last spread and now what the King of Earth is about here. Could be a Virgo specifically who's been feeling stuck and, um, you know, blocked, and what can help, whether you're a Virgo or not, what can help you with that is for you to take time for contemplation, to retreat and to go within. Be a beacon for others on their path to spiritual enlightenment too. So this is about you coming into clarity, but also you helping to provide clarity to others. Maybe just through straightforward communication, what's going on. So definitely a Virgo could be involved um, in your scenario, in your mix this week as it relates to love. Oh, I didn't do any advice. Let me do that too. So we'll do it from here. You know what? Let's try to look for another card from this deck for that pile. And we'll give this one. From... So I'm just going to take the next um, angel tarot card and give it to the masculine. We'll do that. And um, I got my keepers of the light cards here too. Give these a little shuffle. And one for <clears throat> the masculine and one for the feminine. These are the ones I set aside. That's the other deck. I'm, I have an overall energy of Master Buddha, increased awareness. So this could be the clarity that we're coming into, the um, significant revelation that the tower represents. The tower can also be about an actual tower, or structure, or home, or something for me. Uh, again, it can be about co um, cohabitation. We decide to move in together, or move to move from one place to another, or to visit each other, um, and stay with one, stay with the other, or something. Um, also, 
This is about deep connection. Trust your inner voice. So you have a deep connection to the spiritual world. And actually that is also greatly what uh, Ramadan is about. That's the purpose or a major reason um, for the fasting. It's so we can deepen our um, connection to God, like our consciousness. Masculine, further advice to you from the Keepers of the Light Oracle. Isis, magic manifesting. So more of this Gemini energy um, and also the, ma the manifestation, right? Like the magician. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. For the masculine, Kali Ma, facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. I think you guys got the same card last week. Actually, actually did I mix them up? This is the masculine. <laughs> this is the feminine. Um, so the masculine got the manifestation. The feminine got the fear. And that is what the way it showed up here in the reading, too. We had the nine of swords, which is the fear. Okay. Um, masculine. Okay. Another ten of autumn or pentacles. Contentment comes from knowing that you're... Finances are secure and your family's material needs are taken care of. It's important to honor traditions and to have pride in your heritage and the accomplishments of your ancestors. And we see here proud father with this woman and all these babies. So again, that is the message for somebody's son. All right. That may be an earth sign specifically. My own son is earth sign. <laughs> I don't think this is for me. It could be, though. Uh, you know, I, I, I did share that weird story with you about the twins. In any case, um, where it's not about twins or babies at all, it is still about security and family and surrounding yourself with that and being at peace and contentment with that. Um, for the feminine, we got more twos. <laughs> it's the two. I can't take it. It's the two of summer or the two of cups. You're falling in love or experiencing a deepening of emotion in your current relationships. Marriages or romantic partnerships in distress can still be saved. Don't give up. This can also be about twin flames for a lot of people too. Um, and really, because we've just been really moving closer and closer. I, I know for years people have been saying union is here and all kinds of stupid stuff. And those of you who've been watching me for a long time, you know how much it irritated me so much so that I didn't even, even want to associate like, you know, um, in terms of myself as a, a, or identify as a twin flame at all. Um, well, because of what was going on. And I kept saying, union is not here. It goes in accordance with the prophecies and the scriptures. And I think that more and more people are seeing that I was correct that now that they're playing out um, those prophecies and, and, and scriptures. So these could definitely be messages for Twin Flames too. Um, and it could be in part about the sun, right? Um, this is still part of Easter, technically. It's today's the, um, the eighth octave of Easter, actually. So same thing goes for Passover. And like I said, Ramadan is also beginning. So it's a very holy time. And I think it is a time, like I told you last week, the, um, with the reading that I did, I, I, I think this is like being, we're all being called now. Um, in any case, moving on to your continued advice. And on that, it is the queen of swords. I think the same thing happened to me last week. I was talking about something um, connected to myself and the next card was in fact the queen of swords. Uh, so here it is again, the queen of air. She is independent, experienced, realistic, and witty. Objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves you and seeing the humor in a situation like I've been doing this whole time during this reading. Um, this is more potentially Gemini energy like myself gemini libra aquarius may be involved with an earth sign possibly but it could be any kind of combinations and lastly for the feminine it's another two i couldn't have made this up if i wanted to and you saw me shuffle several times over and over so i don't know <laughs> okay we were meant to have all these twos it takes two Major Arcana card renewal or judgment, which represents the sign of Scorpio. He could be the King of Cups that showed up in the general reading next to the Queen of Swords. Um, review and evaluate. 
a favorable assessment of the facts. This could be two people getting together to go over like what what caused our breakdown, right? That three of swords. How did we get here? What was the conflict? Or, you know, what's the disagreement? Let's fix it. And this is two people coming together. Also, judgment is about second chances, second time around. So if this was a general reading, I'd say it could be in any area of your life, right? A job or whatever, but I'm saying it's relationship. So think of the six of cups that came out. Somebody could be returning to your life. You could be returning to somebody's life and you're getting a second chance at love, a second chance to start again. Ace of wands, right? New opportunity could be that. Um, judgment is also about abundance that is earned for me. All the abundance that's coming your way, the many, many blessings, is because you deserve it. So the universe is paying you off with those things that you deserve. I hope you guys have enjoyed the love reading. I will be back with the moon reading, um, hopefully sooner rather than later. If you like a private reading, I am um, behind with those. I had typically been known for being <laughs> been known for doing them like if you order it this week by the following Saturday at the latest I would have them all done but with um the quarantine not only have I gotten so many orders but I just I can it's it's very difficult for me to schedule my time now um and to plan how long each thing is going to take me because, I mean, sometimes I run into issues with doing the videos, so they could take me longer than expected. But something I'm doing aside from the videos, like just going to the grocery store, could take me longer than planned. I end up in a line that goes on for blocks of people, you know, separated six feet apart. <laughs> um, and so I can't say, all right, well, at five o'clock, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do readings. So there's that. But I, I, I'm not discouraging you from ordering. I'm very happy. Like I said, I'm more and more people are possibly more than ever people are ordering um as of late and i just really feel that it's because they want to you know we're in this very intense time where this is the real time and um you know the things are playing out um i'm not saying this is the real time in terms of like god will be here tomorrow again you know i know the scripture right no one no one knows but the father not even the son I, i'm aware of that that's not what i'm saying i'm saying um the I, prophecies are playing out and I've pointed to a few of them, talked about a few of them. Um, and some of them they've happened and I, I didn't talk about those and maybe we will one day in any case. Um, yeah, so things are happening and that's making people want to be, you know, want to seek healing and want to seek accurate readings. And it's, so it's, it's faring very well for me. I actually feel kind of funny, you know, cause it's, it's quarantine time. It's such a, like a somber time and my, my business is booming right now. Like so many people are out of work in any case. Um, so I am, I say all that to say, I, I do have a lot. Um, I can't promise you it'll be lickety split if you order a reading but I'm not discouraging any. I appreciate it. I'm not complaining. I welcome the orders. I welcome the readings. I'm, I'm happy that you want them and I'm happy to do it. Um, my other services, energy healing, that I can do more readily, um, like on the spot. Um, merchandise, or if you just want to be friends, some, you know, social media, something like that, of course, we can do that immediately too. And information for all those things will be in the description box below. If you like the video, please actually like the video by giving it a thumbs up. If you're not yet a subscriber, please consider becoming one by hitting both the subscribe button and the bell button. Namaste. Mm -hmm.